Right, so just about to uh, finish the test now. So this is a test where we did uh, 2,000 of these, and then we did 2,000 of these um, on an M110 spring. Um, we're going to have a open it up, and we're going to have a quick look, quick look at what the damage is. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure the uh, the anti-reverse latch failed. But even though the anti, seeing that the anti reverse latch failed, that was the only thing, that was the only thing I could really tell that had failed. Right there we go. That's all the all the screws done. This is a this is an ENC gearbox, and this is I've got about three or four test ones that I that I've sort of flipped between, and this one I generally keep for all the um, the spring tests that we've got. Let's have a, yeah. Here's the spring. This is a this is a, the new spring that we've got coming out very soon. Um, it's an amazing little spring. Um, and it's it's such a good price. This has been this has had maybe fifty, sixty thousand cycles through it. Um, uh, some bit more information about that later. But um, anyway, back to the uh, back to the gearbox. And, and I said before that uh, I think uh, the the uh, the AR latch had gone. So uh, let's have a quick look in there. Yeah, you can see we've got a little bit of a got a little bit of mush. And these these gears were sent to, sent to me by a, a Chinese supplier. They're the really cheap, um, really cheap uh, molded cast gears that uh, that I've been testing. But uh, anyway, this isn't really the purpose of the test. Yep, you can see the uh, the AR latch. It's wow! Look at that! Look at that spring there. It's just been mushed. There we go. So it wasn't it wasn't holding back at all. Okay. Let's put that to one side. Okay. Yeah, so a bevel gear, a little bit of wear on it, a little bit of a uh, bit of black paint coming off a little bit. Yeah, and a little tiny bit of wear on that. Um, these bearings, these bearings are the uh, J cage bearings that uh, that we have the Chinese J, the cheaper ones, um, and they're still holding up, holding up really well. I can't hear, I can't hear any noise. In them and they're so difficult because they're shielded they're difficult to tell if there's anything busts inside but they still they're all still spinning fine all still spinning no problems at all on that one. yeah that's spinning okay um, so th those three are fine um, let's have a look here yeah this is uh this is one of the new um, SEMA pistons that uh, we had arrived. Um, this um, is slightly different to their their model before. If you remember the the model before, they tended to be all silver. And I did ask them, I did ask uh, one of the uh, SEMA reps about them, and they said, "Oh no, it's just a it's just a new model that they're that they're using, a new different way of working." It does look a slightly cheaper rack to me. It's bronze instead of being silver as before, but maybe they're just maybe they're just trying to cut down some costs. Um, uh, it's uh, it. Uh, I thought um, I thought it might they might break, but you know on the surface it they look fine to me. It looks absolutely fine. And bearing in mind this just took quite a bit of abuse from it. Um, it this, this just took about you know five six thousand uh, rounds in it. So uh, so pretty good all in all. Pretty good. Yeah, I can't see any. I can't see any real damage on this one at all. Um, the AOE has been corrected. Got a few little washes in there. Um, this is a ZCI ZCI uh, piston head. Um, really good nick. Great little piston head. 
um, with the eight vents. Um, yeah, so, oh, I did epoxy these. these. These come quite loose straight from the factory, so these are definitely, definitely pays to uh, to get some uh, some JB Weld in there or something, some epoxy, just to, just to tighten that down, just to push that down, flat that, just to give it the maximum amount of strength. Um, cylinder, yeah, good. That's all good. Let's test that. Yeah, so... Here we go, we've got the uh, ZCI 4 5th synth cylinder in there. Um, yeah, it's perfect still. Really good. Really good, even even that. Even that down there. Yeah, again, these, these cheap these cheap gears, oh, they've, they've, they've done okay, actually. Um, that bit of damage before. Yeah, maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit missing there, a little bit of ground down there, but uh, yeah, not not too bad. Not something I would um. Oh, lost a bit of the glue, a bit of the glue that was holding that that bearing down, but uh, yeah, it looks fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna take those out and re-glue them down. I'm gonna examine them as well just to make sure that nothing inside those those JK bearings have have blown or anything like that. Um, so there you have it. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good.